As German Chancellor Olaf Scholz prepares for a visit to Turkey on October 19, 2024, a significant shift in European defense diplomacy is unfolding. Germany has authorized technical discussions with Turkey regarding the potential sale of 40 Eurofighter Typhoon fighter jets, valued at approximately $5.6 billion. This decision marks a reversal from Berlin's previous stance, where concerns about the aircraft being used against Kurdish armed groups in Syria and Iraq had stalled such a deal. The approval by the German Federal Security Council signifies a strategic pivot amidst evolving geopolitical tensions. The Eurofighter Typhoon is a cutting-edge, twin-engine multi-role combat aircraft developed by the Eurofighter GmbH consortium, which includes Germany, Italy, and the United Kingdom. Designed to excel in a wide array of missions, ranging from air superiority to close air support, the Typhoon has proven itself as a formidable asset in the air forces of several European nations and Saudi Arabia. With a top speed of 2,495 km per hour, the aircraft's delta wing configuration, paired with advanced control systems, provides exceptional agility and speed ensuring dominance in any combat scenario. One of the key technological features of the Typhoon is its captor radar, a system capable of evolving into an ASA, Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar. This radar offers long-range detection and advanced air-to-ground capabilities, providing pilots with the ability to engage both aerial and ground targets with high precision. The aircraft is equipped with 13 hardpoints for missiles and bombs, including AMRAAM and Osram air-to-air missiles, anti-radar and anti-ship missiles, and precision-guided bombs. This versatile weaponry, combined with advanced piloting controls such as the voice-commanded VTS, voice throttle and stick, ensures that pilots can swiftly respond to complex threats while minimizing their workload. The move to engage in technical discussions with Turkey follows a series of diplomatic meetings, notably between Chancellor Scholz and Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan during the UN General Assembly in New York. The focus of the upcoming talks will center around the specifics of the aircraft's configuration, acquisition stages, personnel training, and maintenance protocols. These discussions are expected to last around three weeks and will play a pivotal role in determining the path to the potential deal. Airbus, a primary partner in the Eurofighter consortium, has been instrumental in navigating the political hurdles that have arisen during these talks. Simon Ward, the head of Airbus in Turkey, has expressed optimism that the delivery of the aircraft could happen sooner than expected, signaling Airbus's commitment to overcoming any remaining obstacles. However, while the start of technical talks is a positive sign, it does not guarantee a finalized sale. Nevertheless, the move is a clear indication of Germany's willingness to engage with Turkey in the face of ongoing regional tensions, particularly related to the Ukraine-Russia conflict and the Gaza crisis. For Turkey, the acquisition of the Eurofighter Typhoon would represent a significant leap forward in its air force capabilities. Turkish defense officials have indicated that the Typhoon's ASA radar would mark the first time Turkey's military would have access to this advanced technology, which is expected to bolster their defense capabilities significantly. With Turkey's own KAN fighter jet still under development, the Eurofighter is viewed as an optimal interim solution to modernize the fleet and enhance combat readiness particularly as Turkey looks to integrate its American-made F-16 Block 70S into service. Furthermore, the potential sale of Eurofighters to Turkey has broader implications for military economic relations between Germany and Turkey. Some analysts suggest that Chancellor Scholz may seek to leverage the deal to secure political concessions such as an agreement on the repatriation of approximately 15,000 Turkish nationals whose asylum requests have been denied in Germany. This could strengthen ties between Berlin and Ankara, offering a new dimension to bilateral cooperation. The potential sale of Eurofighter typhoons to Turkey marks a turning point in the defense relations between the two countries, signaling a shift toward deeper military cooperation. The move is closely monitored by other members of the Eurofighter Consortium, particularly Spain and the United Kingdom, 
as it could set a precedent for future arms deals in the region. While the final decision on the sale remains uncertain, the unfolding negotiations highlight the complexity of defense diplomacy, where regional security concerns, technological advancements, and political considerations intersect. In conclusion, the prospect of Turkey acquiring Eurofighter Typhoon jets represents not only a boost to its military capabilities, but also a significant development in its bilateral relationship with Germany. With the geopolitical landscape shifting, this potential deal underscores the delicate balancing act that nations must navigate in the realm of international defense cooperation. As technical talks continue, the world will be watching closely to see how this relationship evolves in the coming months and years.